you came today. This is uh, the day that the Lord has made for us to be happy and celebrate what He has enabled us to do. Yeah. Uh, since 2019, we visited uh, more than seven prisons, uh, women, and sometimes we don't visit men. We supported women inside of the prisons. We support them with donations, but we supported them also with skills. And we were able to reintegrate them into the society when they came back from the prisons. We couldn't satisfy everybody, but we did our best. And we couldn't do it. Personally, even though I, I'm the one who started this vision, I was not able to make it if I didn't have a good team. My colleagues really were there for me every single minute I wanted them. And imagine, you, when you're working, being paid, I, I've been there, I have been a UN staff. I remember complaining, and still I was having my salary. And sometimes I complain that the work is too much. But I have never seen one of my colleagues complaining while they were not paid. All of us we were a team which was volunteering. I thank God for my colleague. My friends, I don't have words for you. From my heart, just accept my thanks. Thank you so much. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't deal with anything if I didn't have your support. Whenever I sent you messages, I know you were busy, you were doing this and that, and you had families. In Africa, we have million families. But always, you spend a little bit and you send it to the organization. Thank you so much. May God bless you. May God guide you. May God bless your families. May God keep you wherever you be. And may God reward you and reward your children and the children of your children. Amen. I really bless you. Thank you so much for supporting SBA. Pray for us. Thank you, Miriam. Let's pray. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for enabling us to be in this place of everlasting God. We bless you and we adore you. We want to pray that we bless and sanctify the food you are going to partake. We give you honor and we adore you. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, we grant you thanks. as everybody who has just come here today because you are very good people and you are very important to Esperanza to reduce destitution, destitution as much as possible because that is the beginning of criminal behavior and that is the beginning of making people feel so, you know, feel so frustrated, rejected and especially mothers. My passion as I've worked in prison for the many years has been for women. Even sometimes they used to tell me, Mary, you really like women, you pamper them. I tell them, yes, these are the type of people who make the society. And right now, we need to make them stable, have ability to handle themselves, ability to support their families, and ability to do everything. So an organization coming on that line, it has been very helpful to us. Why the prisons? Because that never used to be our focus. Our focus used to be children who lack inadequate parental care, they study in the streets or in their families, but they are still struggling. But because you have impartation in terms of passion, we believed in our vision, and we have been able to collaborate for the last uh, almost two years now. Three years to come. Three years. Need care and protection. And as you go shortly to Rwanda, basically, we shall continue with the, with the vision. Because the vision already has life, and uh, we are seeing the need why we should be able to continue supporting <coughs> such a children. Mm -hmm. So by the time you are coming back, the vision will be grown bigger, wider, and in other <laughs> locations. Yeah. We are also looking forward to duplicate the same in yes. Rwanda, since no, we exist yes, also exactly. in Rwanda. Yeah. With, with the same vision and the same dates, yeah. we are looking forward to do the same. Yeah. So we thank you for being a friend, we thank you for being a colleague, we thank you for being your partner. And we thank you for you having a very big heart, mm -hmm. especially for that category of children. Basically, working with this beautiful foundation, uh, which has 
the goal uh, everyone really uh, you know, want to be associated with. So really uh, thank you uh, too much to have introduced me to Esperance. Mm -hmm. Thank you Esperance for your stories, for your energy, for everything. You know, we did in the last, you know, and two years, mm -hmm. and I think uh, it's commendable. So, mine is just to say, you know, go well, and then um, we'll meet you. I'm just going. And even though I've been in Nara for nearly four years, um, there was this period of COVID in between where we didn't meet in person at church. And last year at the Easter sermon, I met her and her daughter. We were holding candles as part of an outdoor ceremony and I, I was so touched by Esperance's story that I downloaded her book from the internet. I'm sitting that same night that I downloaded it and I was so inspired. For those of you who haven't read it and only got it verbally, I think there's just so much depth in that story and so much inspiration that I got from that story. And I take my hat off for you. Uh, you are truly, you were attracted by her energy. I'm attracted to her resilience mm -hmm. and the fact that she's an enormous, uh, her heart is bigger than this place. Mm -hmm. um, and that's to me so special. And I appreciate how she's used the guidance of God to move her everywhere. Just left. Um, Esperance may have come through sometime in 20. 2021. 2021, yes. So we organized a lunch and she came and spoke to us, gave us her story, which really, really touched me. And then she had her book, I think, uh, that was circulated around the office the next week, and some of us picked it and, and went to read it. Uh, for me, it's a real inspiration because she's not Kenyan. She's seen the problem from from outside. Maybe it's through her experience that she wants to change what she's seen within Kenya. But it also uh, makes me ask myself, what am I doing myself for the, the Kenyan uh, women in prison? What am I doing to change the lives of the ones that she's left behind? So for me, you really touched my heart. I would see you in the office coming to see my boss. It would be short, short instances of catching up, but you really touched my heart with what you're doing, what you're doing for people here, what you're doing for the women and the and the children, and I just want to wish you well. Whatever the Lord has purposed for you in Rwanda, may it come to fruition. May it go well. You know, you always have a home in Kenya with so many lovely uh, people here. So, as we as as he has said, you're not going away. You're just like going to visit and coming back. So I'm looking forward to seeing you. Whenever you're in Nairobi, please just give. It doesn't have to go through Nairobi. As a family. Yeah, as a family. So, mm, mine is just few words to say thank you. Continue like that. It's our organization. It's not yeah. yours. Mm -hmm. So it's ours. Mm -hmm. So, as our elder sister said, so it's uh, our baby, all of us. Mm -hmm. So let us put our energy together. Mm -hmm. Our resources together mm -hmm. and then we support our kids mm -hmm. yeah so nothing else otherwise experience a sister to me and to my family everybody to my father who passed she offered my father a jivas which was a whiskey or jivas or shivas shivas, mm -hmm. uh, yes. shivas. Mm -hmm. and my dad told me this is a friend a friend who can give a drink to your father who is miles away and i took it i took it really in my suitcase up to kinshasa and he drank it and he said, this is your sister, is your friend. I'll miss you definitely. What I was saying, we will say something about her. It must, in my, everybody must not say anything. But a small word, because we don't have a card. Maybe she'll go with it on her heart. But know that I love you, and your family is mine. And Interesting, but once you start reading, you don't want to finish. Normally, I, in order to find time to read every morning after my prayers, I have always have a book, mostly religion. Christian related, I read like 10 pages, but when I started reading as I had to finish it, but I wanted to know what happened next. And after reading it, I found it so interesting, so when I went to the U.S., I ordered some more and I gave to everybody I could find to give, including uh, my colleagues in the office. So, and that's where 
our friendship started. We see once in a while, the few times I happen to be in town, we see and we've collaborated because, um, you know, instead of her experience making her bitter, she saw it as a way of to say, I don't want other women to suffer as much as I suffer. Mm -hmm. So I, I want to um, uh, recognize her for that and to thank her for the work she's done. Um, and also to wish her the best that she goes back to Rwanda. If I'm still in East Africa, I'm sure I'll be seeing you in Rwanda from time to time because mm -hmm. that's one of the countries I work in. Uh, I wish you all the best. Of Good news that we'll be here. Good news about everything here. Sister Esperance, she's our sister. She's a family friend, together with her family. She is a very good mentor. She has been so friendly. She has been so straightforward. She is a very good girl. I know God will still be, be, be with you. Don't worry. Buenas y fuesan. So may the Lord.